morning everyone so today uh, we are moving forward on usmle revision uh, step 1 2021 microbiological section where we have previously talked about this gram negative enteric bacteria among them we are talking about the lactose fermenting gram negative enteric bacteria and which can be remembered by the formula called chick that is cytobacter enterobacter Escherichia coli Escherichia coli and serasia so clefs this is cytobacter c e4 Enterobacter, another E for E. coli, K for Klebsiella, and S for Serasia. So we are talking about, we have talked about this E. coli in detail, causing major diseases like it is causing uh, UTI uh, in in a patient with cystitis and pyelonephritis having uh, virulence factor as a pili or fimbriae. Then there was a capsulated which was causing pneumonia and meningitis. And there was due to endotoxin causing lipopolysaccharide causing endotoxic shock. And there was exotoxin like it is stable and heat level toxin causing traveler's diarrhea and varotoxin released from the enterohemorrhagic E. coli causing cigar like toxin or varotoxin causing hemolytic uremic syndrome due to hemorrhagic diarrhea. So, E. coli is a very important bug. Actually, they can found everywhere. They are found. You will found many thousands of infection in your life, and you have to uh, deal with it. Moving on to the another gram-negative enteric bacteria that is lactose fermenter is Klebsiella. So Klebsiella pneumonia is mainly responsible for causing you pneumonia that you have to understand mainly lobar pneumonia. So this Klebsiella pneumonia, if you see a microbiological point of view, they are gram-negative. You know that they are lactose fermenting enteric bacteria similar to that of the E. coli you can differentiate only by the presence of this mucosity this viscosity if you see over here this colony is very very much mucoid so this is due to this presence there are very mucoid polysaccharide capsular they have tons of this slime layer this polysaccharide is because of that they appears very wet very mucoid in comparison to that of the E. coli so on by seeing only you can actually by seeing only you can identify this Klebsiella pneumonia organism okay let me show you this picture this you can see this is the your McConkey agar where you can see this pink colonies that is the lactose fermenting colony and that is very mucoid in nature in comparison to the E. coli that will be pink but it will be a very less mucoid or say dry so you can differentiate by looking only okay uh, if you see a colony that is pink in color and McConkey agar and that is viscous or mucoid you understand they are talking about Klebsiella pneumonia. Let's come back to us. So this is, you have under, uh, now under, identify the Klebsiella pneumonia on McConkey agar. So sometimes they can give you a picture and then you have to identify that you have to deal with it. It is a gram negative blood, you know that. It is the intestinal flora that causes lower pneumonia. So it is responsible is Klebsiella pneumonia. From name only you know that it will cause pneumonia, that is lower pneumonia. Where, in which patient, which patient are more prone to cause infection with this bug and that is the patient with alcohol overuse and patient with diabetes wine aspirated so it is usually talking about the elderly people who are diabetic or who are alcohol ever use overuse and they are they have aspirated their upper gastric content then they will develop this capsular pneumonia induced lobar pneumonia that we have to understand so they have very mucoid colonies you have seen over there caused by abundant polysaccharide capsule so all bacteria capsule is made of polysaccharide except bacillus which has made of poly glutamate we have talked about that that is also important they produce the patient will develop Klebsiella pneumonia induced pneumonia they produce dark red that is current jelly sputum blood and mucus mix is seen and you can even diagnose if it is the, the most common cause of pneumonia is streptococcus pneumonia that will produce rusty sputum that will not be current jelly sputum. The another cause, the important bug that will cause you pneumonia is Klebsiella pneumonia and that will produce current jelly sputum. That is important. Okay. Also cause, since this bug causes nosocomial UTI associated with the evolution of multidrug resistant. This bug has developed lots of antibiotic resistance. So it has become an important bug in your hospital. They are even cause hospital acquired infection like UTI. So you have to understand of that. To remember this organism, we have a formula like A, B, C, D, E of Klebsiella. That is, it causes aspiration pneumonia. It causes abscess in the lung and liver. It can produce the current jelly sputum. It is common in diabetic and E for ethanol or say alcohol overuse. So in this way, we can remember this. This will be a one of your scenario and question can be asked about it. Let, let me go more detail on it. So you have understood this Klebsiella pneumonia. This Klebsiella pneumonia is a... Um, pink color on a McConkey agar that is mucoid in nature. Okay. Some of them are very brilliant. 
this is where a hyper virulent capsular pneumonia is also found they have hyper mucosity virulence as well capsule is present so this one becomes very important because when you go to this hyper virulent versus, versus classical clepsular pneumonia you can see in this blue color classical pneumonia classical clepsular pneumonia can cause bacteremia pneumonia surgical site infection and urine tract infection whereas this hyper virulent clepsula which will be more and more viscous more and more viscous i have shown you the picture so this will be more they will have hyper viscosity already clepsular pneumonia is a mucoid one but if it is a hyper virulent then there will be a more more mucosity more more viscosity and in that case it will cause meningitis it will may cause endophthalmitis endophthalmitis they can cause liver and splenic abscess they can cause soft tissue infection so the hypervirulent which is more mucoid will cause more severe severe disease as well we have talked about this the clepsa pneumonia they are a gram negative broad family of enterobacteria they can cause or they are present in the oropharynx and gastrointestinal tract and they cause infection like pneumonia and urinary tract infection we have talked about this then uh, then let's move to the our kaplan book where we we will revise in short so klebsiella is a klebsiella pneumonia distinguished feature it is a gram negative broad with a large polysaccharide capsule it is mucoid lactose fermenting colonies and macanchy agar they all gram negatives belonging to enterobacteria are oxidase negative reservoir is the com human colon and upper respiratory tract transmission is usually endogenous so you yourself get infected by your own source your own normal flora capsule impedes phagocytosis endotoxin cause endotoxic shock that is fevers inflammation and septicemia so the disease that will produce is pneumonia that is community acquired most often older men most common cause those with the chronic lung disease alcoholic or diabetes but you have to remember this is this is not the most common cause of pneumonia in alcoholic streptococcus pneumonia is always the first bug that causes pneumonia after that you can come to the klebsiella pneumonia there are indigenous assumed to reach the lungs by inhalation of respiratory droplet from the upper respiratory tract frequent abscesses make it hard to treat fatal rate high sputum is generally thick and bloody that is current jelly sputum that we have already this point has been covered in usml step 1 uh, but not foul smelling as in and, and that it are they are not foul, foul smelly and because anaerobic aspiration pneumonia if you see the anaerobic uh, bacteria causing pneumonia then there will be a foul smelling but this since this are the aerobic organism they will not produce this foul smelling infection the urinary tract infection that is catheter related nosocomial infection can be present septicemia in immunocompromised patient may originate from the bowel defect or invasion of the iv line well, how can we diagnose simple diagnosis is culture the sputum you will find the in a culture they will grow this pink color mucoid colony on your macanchy agar you do the gram strain it will gram negative bacteria so culture of sputum or clean catch urine there will be lactose fermenting mucoid colony and your diagnosis klebsiella treatment may be third generation cephalosporin with or without aminoglycoside carbapenem for espl production and kpc strain uh, kp strain becoming more predominant nowadays so how can we remember is the not cell you can see over klebsiella pneumonia elderly patient with typical pneumonia they have the current jelly sputum then we have to understand they are talking about klebsiella pneumonia they can even cause uti in a hospital echo setting mainly catheter is associated they may be lead to the septicemia immunocompromised or nosocomial they are gram negative bacilli oxidase negative capsulated so it is called encapsulated and lactose fermenting there is another say synonyms to remember the some of the capsulated bacteria and i like this synonym very much they are the comparative microlegial some killer have pretty nice capsule so some s4 streptococcus pneumoniae k for klebsiella s4 hemophilus influenzae type b p for pseudomonas and for nigeria c for the cryptococcus pneumoniae these are the important bug there are other as well that are capsulated they are encapsulated but these are the important bug that we have to face a lot in infectious diseases so some killer have pretty nice capsule some that is streptococcus pneumoniae k for klebsiella s for hemophilus influenzae p for pseudomonas aeruginosa and for nigeria and k for capsule so these are actually a killer box they are actually a very deadly box they can kill you so it is easy to remember because they capsulated they evade our phagocytosis they can pre they prevent from phagocytosis and causes the disease if you have any problem please comment link below i will try to answer your question thank you